the next project I'm doing is going to try and remove the spring from Miss Hagon's shock. I've got two to do. Uh, I remember doing this 30 years ago, um, but I can't remember how I did it. I've googled a few times and I could make some stuff out of metal but there was an interesting guy who did it with some so that's what we're going to try and do today so first of all we'll load this up Again, I'll just go get my forceps. That didn't sound good. So here we are, not that. side are now clamped in. Just oh, there's the collet, and that worked very easily. So now we can got to release that one, and then we release this one. As you can see the springs come off got to look at it's plastic coated I think uh, I'm not sure how we're going to uh, sort that one out and here we have the shock absorber the damper that worked better than I thought I'll go do the other one and then we'll see what we're up to. Here we are again. I've got the other shot uh, from a different angle. 
so we'll just show you what I'm doing here so I've got a bar at the bottom with the loops through and on this side because it's a, a bent bar it's clamped in to the vise with the end webbing clamped in so this can't slide out so that's safe there this one's pointing down so that it's not going to pop off there um, so now we just gently and as you can see the spring drops down and comes off and then I release it One released. You can see. So here we are. Both um, shock absorbers now stripped down and ready to clean. This one looks like it's leaking, but in actual fact, it's been sprayed with XCP Professional Rust Blocker yeah, advertising that isn't it it's actually a very good way of stopping water getting onto parts of the bike you don't want to rust the only downside is it's difficult to get off and it does need a, a solvent to, to get it off Hi, it's onwards and onwards and upwards with renovating some shocks for the SRX. I've um, shown you how I've taken them apart. Here's one of the here, and as you can see, I've just cleaned up all the paintwork. Uh, I've washed it, degreased it. Um, I'm going to give it a wipe with another degreaser and hopefully tomorrow we're going to paint it. This is the aluminium that went over the top. Like so, and you can see here that that went up like that to give you a different amount of preload on the suspension. Interestingly enough, when we came to strip it, uh, the suspension, one was set on maximum and one was set on minimum. So I think whoever did the shocks wasn't really interested in it, they were just getting rid of it. I've cleaned this side, I've now got to clean and this side, you can see it's still got all its paint on. I'm also trying to figure out how to get the plastic off here. This is plastic on this metal and it's rusted in the inside a little bit so I've got to try and figure out how to get the plastic and then what sort of paint to paint them and the same with this one in fact this one looks like it's been painted a bit as well so that's my next job is renovate this and this to clean it off or the paint and then look at the springs to see if I can sort them out hopefully the forecast for tomorrow is good so we're going to plan to do some spraying I don't know how much we're going to get done certainly some undercoating will be done um, I'll probably get the tank undercoated uh, the frame uh, maybe some of the black bits done the front fork legs the bottom stanchions they need uh, lacquering so whether or not I I shall do them tomorrow or wait, I don't know. Um, but it's definitely forecast for a warm, fine day tomorrow. Uh, and I'm counting my chickens before they hatch. So we'll see tomorrow. Okay then, we'll uh, move on with this and maybe we'll show you what it looks like when we're finished. 
Bye for now. Well, that's uh, the springs cleaned up, so they're now ready to paint. I need to just take these off so that I get not get paint on the shafts here, and they'll be ready for tomorrow. They've come out quite well, uh, surprisingly better than I thought they would do. And. I'm not, not sure what I'm going to do next. I've got that much to do in here, I'm not well sure where to start. I think the might, best thing to do is have a cup of coffee. Which I might go and do now. So uh, I'll go get a cup of coffee, and you go get one. And we'll see each other when we come back. <laughs>